In this video, I want to go over what chloramines are. Does your pool have chloramines? A lot of people do not know what chloramines are, so they do not know how to get rid of them. It's pretty common in the industry for me to start working for a customer and then I see that the pool does not have any chlorine. If you're new to my channel and you like videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and please also give me a like so others can get help with their pool. What we do is we check for chloramines from time to time. Chloramines. What is chloramines? Chloramines is U-spent chlorine. So you have free chlorine that's in the pool. Like in this pool, we have chlorine tablets in the floater. It's constantly sanitizing the pool. Over time, that leftover chlorine has already done its job. It's still in the pool and it doesn't go anywhere. That is why I recommend to frequently shock. If you skip and do not shock every two to three weeks, you may have chloramines that build up. How you can test for it is to subtract your free chlorine levels from your total chlorine. If your total chlorine is ever higher than your free chlorine, then you know that you have chloramines. And depending on how high they are is how much chlorine you're going to need now to get rid of them. It can take an extremely high amount of chlorine to wipe out chloramines. So you do not really want them to build up. And how you can also tell if you have chloramines is if you smell a chlorine smell. If you have not treated your pool, you have not put any chemicals in the pool, but just the normal standard ones and you smell that chlorine smell, that is going to be chloramines. My suggestion is, is to shock your pool every two to three weeks, regardless of what the chlorine levels look like. And that will remove the used up free chlorine that's already done its job that's still in the pool. And then you will not have any problems. So this is one of the main causes of people not being able to maintain a chlorine reading in this problem of chloramines in the pool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next videos.